Hello all. In this video, I'll walk you through my blogging setup and the customizations that I have done. I use Octopress as my blogging engine. Octopress is a framework designed for Jekyll, the static blogging engine powering GitHub pages. A static site generator is a software that takes some text and templates as input and produces HTML files on the output. The HTML files generated is hosted and becomes the website. Octopress is written in Ruby language and has various tasks and features specifically for blogging. The initial setup of Octopress is well documented and easy to follow. Follow the link in description to set up Octopress. I have cloned the Octopress repository to my personal GitHub account and set as the master branch. On generating the site, it places the output HTML file into the Azure folder. The Azure folder is set to the branch blog on the GitHub repository. I have modified the default setup of Octopress to improve my blogging experience. Automating and removing repetitive tasks in blogging helps me concentrate on the writing part. Reducing the site generation time for previewing sites locally, graph post workflow, automatic deployment of the blog, and publishing a post in future are some of the key customizations that I have done. Let's look into each of these in detail. Draft Post Workflow Having a draft workflow to manage in-progress posts and new post ideas is important to me. Drafts help me to manage post ideas on my blog. Seeing these draft posts on my local blog motivates me to get it to the completion. Newer versions of Jekyll support working with drafts and uses the drafts switch in the Jekyll build command to include posts in the drafts folder. I created a rake task named new draft to create posts in the drafts folder. The physical folder is created in Dropbox and is continuously synced to the cloud. This enables writing posts from any device that can connect to Dropbox. Under the Octopus source folder, I created a symbolic link to the drafts folder in Dropbox. Dropbox ensures that my files are in sync across multiple devices. I often write posts from my Android phone using Jotterpad, which supports Dropbox integration. When I run the rake new draft command with the title of the post, a file gets added to the drafts folder. Since this file is created in Dropbox and I have the Dropbox application installed on my computer, the file is automatically synced to the cloud. I can now author the post from my mobile while on the go. Let's look at the draft post that just got created. Drafts are posts which do not have dates. I added a placeholder text, this is still a draft, in the YAML friend matter of the post. I also added in the publish draft task that asks for the post to publish and the date to publish it on. The task replaces the placeholder text this is still in draft with the ender date. It then moves the post from the drafts folder to the posts folder. The file name is appended with the published date. I can now commit the file to the master branch and push up the changes to the GitHub repository. Improving previewing local. I am the kind of person who likes to preview often in progress posts. It helps me to get a feel of the final look on the blog and keeps me motivated to complete the post. The time for generating the site in Octopress is proportional to the number of posts. So the lesser the post, the faster the site generates. Generating few posts when previewing is what I wanted to achieve to make it faster. I have around 150 published posts now and it takes around one minute to generate the site. I don't want to wait that long to preview the site every time I make a change to it. I usually have around 10 draft posts including new post ideas. Most of them just have the headings along with a couple of points to write on. Generating 10 posts takes only a couple of seconds and this is what I want. Jekyll's build command provides a configuration switch that allows passing in a configuration file. By default, it uses the config.yml and includes all the posts. In the configuration file, we can specify an exclude option to exclude specific directories from the build. 
I created a new task for building only the drafts folder by specifying the draft switch and a dynamically generated configuration file. The generated configuration file has the exclude flag set to the posts folder. This excludes all the published posts. Since the task dynamically generates the configuration file, I have to maintain only one config file. Previewing the in-progress work is now much faster. Automatic deployment. Publishing a post to the website took around 5 minutes and was boring and repetitive. I have to move my post from the drafts folder to the publish folder. I have a rake task, publish drafts for this, which adds the published date to the post and moves it to the post folder. Once done, I generate the new site using rake generate and push up both master and blog branch to my git repository. I host my blog as Azure Web Application and have set up source control integration. You can set this up in the Azure portal under the web application. Having this set up, any time a change is detected in the associated repository, it deploys the site. I have associated my blog branch to the web application, so any commits on the blog branch triggers an automatic deployment. A build server best does the build and pushing up of both the branches. Travis CI provides free builds for public repositories on GitHub. I have set up Travis to build and push the blog branch into my GitHub repository. The build is triggered by a commit in the master branch repository. It generates the site and pushes the site output to the blog branch, which in turn triggers a deployment of the site by the Azure web application. Publish post on a future date. Since I'm trying to blog regularly on a schedule, I try to stay ahead of the schedule. But blogging ahead of the schedule meant I wanted the ability to publish a post in the future. I should be able to set a date that's in the future and the post must be published on that date. Octopus supports future flag in the configuration file. When set to false, Octopress does not generate posts that have a future date. So anytime I push up the master branch with a post in the future, the triggered build does not include it in the generated site. But now I have a new problem. I have to trigger the build on the date that it has to publish the post. I use Azure automation and a scheduled job to trigger the Travis build every day. If a new post is set to be published that day, then the blog gets published automatically. At present, the schedule job runs at a fixed time every day and the site gets deployed every day as well. You can tell this from the git commits on the blog branch. To publish the new post to social media, I have set up if this then that to monitor the blog's RSS feed whenever it detects a new post. It sends a mail to Buffer, a social media integration tool. Buffer sends the details to all of my configured social media accounts. These blog automations help me concentrate more and more on the writing part. Hope this helps you as well. Thank you.